So, Melanie Wasp back again. For the next part, I just want to walk you through the marketing calendar. So this gives you an opportunity to plan a year's worth of marketing, or even more, and that'll extend your reach and build your business more strategically. So let's have a look at uh, the spreadsheet, and we'll go through that and uh, be able to show you what happens here. So the spreadsheet uh, simply is marketing calendar for the year. Uh, it also looks at each month. Now you could break that down even further and do it by week. Um, it's entirely up to you. This is just a broad brush stroke here. So I would put down each month for the year and then I'd start to put in there what are the key events that go on. So these are general ones. You've got New Year's Day, Australia Day. I'd put the dates in there as well if I was doing this properly. Um, Valentine's Day is on the 2nd of Oh, hang on, 14th of February. Maybe that's why I'm on my own in Valentine's Day. Um, 14th of February for Valentine's Day. March, it's the end of summer. Um, Anzac Day in April. So think about what events are happening for each month. And these are just samples. You can put a whole lot of other things in. You might want to customise that. There might be special events that are going on in your um, business space that are particularly typical. Um, if you're in retail, for instance, there might be the Boxing Day sales, for example. Uh, there would certainly be others. I've just put one in here as an example. So, um, you know, feel free to adjust this to suit and um, it's better to, if it's more personalised for your business. So just jot down any of the events because that will give you something to talk about for that period. And this also helps with your, face, with your um, social media as well as your general marketing activities. So it gives you a, a prompt of something that's going on for that month something to start with. Social media we've talked about um, in the other video but here you've got whatever social media accounts you have in this case I'm saying Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest you might have others you might not have all of those that's fine just whichever ones are relevant for you I'm not saying go and have all of those accounts just whatever you find works for you and that is going to depend on who your audience is if you're dealing mostly with business people then it's possibly LinkedIn you might also find a lot of business people on Facebook these days but given that it's the most massive um, sort of uh, social media network now and going more viral it's as we talk. Uh, Twitter is certainly popular but nowhere near as much as Facebook or LinkedIn. Um, Instagram is very popular if you're dealing with individuals so um, particularly the younger people. Uh, Pinterest is great again business people use that but more from a, a commercial point of view rather than the general business to business type of environment. So pick the social media um, platforms that suit you and your business and uh, do as few or as many as you like. The more you do, the more hard work you create for yourself sometimes. So put your social media in there um, because that becomes your schedule of what you're posting for your social media accounts. Now you might want to put down also your networking events. So what networking groups are you going to attend? How frequently? And again by knowing these things that might give you some thematic approaches to your networking promotions that you do while you're there. So for instance if you're a photographer and you might do gift cards um, as just a handout type of giveaway thing uh, at special prizes etc. Then you might gear them around what's going on in that month for example. So, you know, you might do something very Australian for January, for instance, or you might do something that's related to resolutions, whatever it might be. So you can use that thematic approach as well here. You might want to think about what promotional activities you're doing. Have you got any um, two-for-one offers or are you uh, going to be getting involved in any uh, activities around the um, geographic area you're in. So for instance City to Surf, you're going to be someone who's involved in that in some active way um, and have a promotion there. You might be involved in an expo, you might be involved in a trade show, you might be uh, involved with some community groups that are relevant to your business. So any promotional activities there you can jot those down and then you've got an idea of what's happening in that space. If you've got PR opportunities or any media space that you can get access to, then you might put those in here as ones that you want to try and target. So for instance, um, you might find that uh, Mother's Day is a very big event for you in your market. So Mother's Day might be something you want to try and get into the press to be able to promote yourself and your business in that, that space. So have a think about any PR opportunities that might be useful 
to tie in with any of these themes and events that you have here. Um, advertising, now generally we talk advertising as being paid but there are unpaid advertising opportunities um, but if you're going to do any advertising then again you can jot this down here and any other marketing activity that you want to do put it into this schedule and what that gives you is an overview and a plan of action to be derived from this one chart so it gives you an indication of the sort of periods throughout the year what the events are throughout the year and there could be a lot more than that what kind of postings you might do that are around that um, what events you might attend and therefore what you might want to link back to what promotional activities you might get involved in um, you might have uh, PR activities you can get involved in or media space that you can get into you might have advertising you might have speaking opportunities if you're someone who does speaking so you might have that down there that you want to talk to kids groups throughout the year for instance or you might want to talk to event companies that run weddings so that you can give them talks about how to handle photography if that's your space for example so marketing is very broad it's not just paid advertising marketing is about how do you get your name out there marketing is about how do people get to know your products and services marketing is a whole range of things it's a massive area this will get you underway um, most of these don't cost anything uh, networking events cost you the membership fees and the attendance fees for the breakfasts or lunches that you go to. Uh, promotional activity may or may not cost you to enter into trade shows for instance or uh, you might not have to pay anything if you're already able to go and volunteer your services or be available at a certain event. Uh, PR and media generally doesn't cost anything and advertising generally does. So this is a schedule have a think about where are the best opportunities for me to present my business um, and in what formats best for me also think about it in terms of who is my target market and what are the events and themes that are important to them so hopefully that's given you a bit more information on that chart and um, I'd be fascinated to see how it turns out for you this has been Melanie Wass from MelanieWoss.com